Hello everyone, this is chapter 2, part 3. In this part, we'll continue with the new classical model of labor supply, labor leisure choice. And we, in this part, we'll focus on um, setting up the budget constraint, budget line. Budget line or budget constraint defines a worker's opportunity set. Okay, it indicating all the consumption leisure combinations a worker can afford. So consumption is equal to the w wage rate times number of hours worked h for hours worked v is non-labor income so consumption is a sum of let's go over it labor earnings which is wages w and hours of work this is what you earned in the labor market okay plus Non-labor income, V is your income. It could be such that that's income that doesn't depend on your wages or hours of work. That could be such that I was about to say I interrupted myself. It could be, for instance, your rental income. Or it could be such that you have some, um, some um, company stocks and then they send you dividends uh, quarterly. So I get dividends on my Rivian stocks, for instance. So this is consumption is the dollar value of goods consumed. So it's basically the sum of labor earnings, labor earnings, W times H, hours, and non-labor earnings, which is V. Okay. So remember, right, hours worked plus leisure needs to sum off sum to the total times available so t is the total time available this is the total time total time okay so basically your hours of work needs to be total time minus your leisure so that's where the hours work leisure trade-off comes up so w instead of hours work we can put so instead of h we can put total time minus leisure, right? So instead of we, we see, whenever we see H here, you can put T minus L, leisure, total time minus leisure plus V. So you rewrite this. It's going to look like this. Oops. <laughs> WT, I'm just getting everything together. WT plus V. So we are going to keep this constant stuff together because W is the wage rate per hour. T is total time. These are fixed here. Plus, uh, sorry, minus. So what do we have left from here? WT plus V is written here. You have also minus negative WL. Okay, so this is what we did. We can rewrite it. W instead of H, you can put T minus L plus V. Rearrange this, right? W, T plus V. This is your constant term minus W, L. So budget constraint, right? We derived budget constraint in terms of, now it's in terms of consumption is in terms of your leisure. Okay, all these are constant numbers. W, W, T, V, constant. Okay, so this is what my budget line looks like, folks. And we are going to derive it slowly. So you have leisure here, L, consumption here on the y-axis. Okay, so if leisure, leisure is at zero, you have zero leisure. Okay, so I'm going to put like extreme numbers. Number one. One extreme, you have no leisure. You worked all day, all week. You take no leisure. The other extreme is you actually work nothing. Your total leisure is equal to your total time. So case one, leisure is zero hours. So you put zero here, right? This will cancel out W times zero, zero. So consumption is going to be equal to W T plus V. Okay, so if leisure measured here from 0 to T, if leisure is 0, consumption is equal to 
WT plus V. This is your Y intercept of your budget line. If leisure is at maximum, your leisure is at T. Okay, so if leisure is at T, let's plug that in. So leisure, I shouldn't have to use <laughs> We said leisure zero. Consumption is going to be equal to WT plus V. We are talking about this point. Leisure zero, so this corresponds to this point. Coordinates, okay? What if we look at the maximum leisure? Leisure is equal to T. Okay, so I'll plug that in. C equals WT. I'm going to plug in T whenever C, whenever I see leisure W instead of L, plug in T. Okay, WT minus WT, they cancel out. So when leisure is at T maximum, your consumption, so you don't work at all, okay? Your consumption will be equal to your non-labor income. That's what it means. Okay, so your leisure is equal to T. Your consumption will be equal to V. So you're at this point, what we call this E for endowment point. Endowment point is your basically income, right? Your consumption, sorry. When you have no, not, no uh, labor income. Okay, you only have non-labor income of V. So this is what our budget line looks like. And the slope of this budget line, slope will be right here, folks, slope. So I'm just going to show you something. Highlighter, right? This is Y-axis. This is X-axis. So consumption is like Y. This is like X. So the coefficient of that x variable, which is leisure, is going to be your slope. Slope is negative w, okay? The steeper the slope, the, steep, the higher the wage rate, the steeper the slope will be of the budget line, okay? The lower the wage rate, the flatter the uh, budget line is going to be. So this is the budget constraint, budget line. This is how much you can afford. So next step will be, right... I am trying to go to the highest indifference curve. I have, I am this person, right? I am trying to go to the highest indifference curve. I want to go to a really high indifference curve, right? I, if I can, I would go to the one all the way up here. However, this budget line constraint is telling you stop here. So I will try to find the indifference curve that's touching to this budget line so you're going to try to go to the highest indifference curve this i see here i see something you can call this i see four indifference curve four okay this one this one because that's the only indifference curve you can go with this given blue budget line all right so this is exactly what we did. I'm going to erase everything. So if leisure is zero, right? We are here. Consumption is WT plus V. We're at point A. So we found two extreme points, literally. If leisure is equal to maximum, you're not working, then your income, your consumption is equal to your non-labor income. Slope is negative W, all right? So I'll see you in part four. Now we are actually going to learn how to uh, choose between leisure consumption and hours of work in the next part again don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to watch these videos in order this is the labor supply chapter i'll see you in the next part